Well, hello there, welcome to the Champions League, where we have reached the playoff time. It's a huge, huge game this evening between Zaksa, Kajira Kozle, the travelling Hulkback and Ankara. Dużo znajomych twarzy, o których za chwilę będziemy szerzej mówić. Halba Ankara, wicemistrzowie Turcji skończyli rozgrywki grupowe Ligi Mistrzów na drugim miejscu. Podobnie jak grupa Azoty Zaksa Kędzierzyn Koźle. Przeciwnicy dzisiejszej Zaksy grali w grupie C z Piaczęcą, Berlinem i Benfiką. Lizbona, cztery zwycięstwa, dwie porażki. I jedno zwycięstwo z Piaczęcą. Nimi Radelazis na Państwa ekranach, jeden z naszych dobrych znajomych w towarzystwie drugiego dobrego znajomego Slobodana Kowacza. No tak, na pewno spotkanie bardzo interesujące, bo mamy duże postacie siatkarskie. Oczywiście po stronie Zaksa, ale też po stronie Halbanku i też ludzi, którzy no, są bardzo znani na arenie międzynarodowej reprezentacyjnej, więc będzie ciekawie na pewno. Tak, to już zawodnicy Grupy Azoty Zaksy Kędzierzyn Koźle. No tutaj też swego rodzaju sensacja można powiedzieć, bo yy, Michał Hadała yy, asystent Adama Swaczyny, bo to wiemy, że Adam niedawno został pierwszym treterem. Po opuszczeniu tego stanowiska przez Tomasa Samel Włoch właśnie Adaś Swaczyna na Państwa ekranach. Mogli potrenować w 14, w 14 zawodników. Za chwilę do tego wrócimy. To Slobokowacz, wypowiedź przed meczem. Zadowolony jest na razie z gry swojego zespołu, trochę potrzebują jeszcze stabilizacji, mówi Slobokowacz. Zdaje sobie sprawę z rangi przeciwnika, że trzykrotnie wygrali Ligę Mistrzów. No chcą trochę skorzystać tutaj z nieobecności Olka Śliwki który wraca do zdrowia, ale cały czas sobie zdaje sprawę, że to jest wielka drużyna. Grupa Azoty, Zaksa Kędzierzyn Koźle, to Slobokowacz. A to Adam Swaczyna, podekscytowany bardzo tym meczem, co jest normalne. Są dobrze przygotowani. Tak, krótko i na temat Adam Swaczyna. Erwin Engapet, no, e, historia można powiedzieć e, siatkówki, ale też i e, bogata kartoteka pozasportowa. Tym się nie będziemy dzisiaj, e, dzisiaj zajmować, tak jak mówiliśmy, dużo, dużo znanych e, nazwisk. E, John Gordon e, Perrin, e, jest Mike Ma, no, zawodnicy, którzy grali tutaj w Polsce, niekoniecznie się wsławili do końca, bo e, opuścili nasz kraj, mając podpisane kontrakty, o tym też e, będziemy mówić, ale nie zmienia to faktu, że są to e, cały czas pierwsze znakomici gracze. Oczywiście, że tak i tutaj jako siatkarsko nie, nie możemy podważyć w żadnym przypadku, ale, ale chciałem jedną rzecz uwagę zwrócić, mówimy o Halbanku, a kara, że wyszedł z drugiego miejsca z tej grupy, o której mówiłeś ale nie spodziewali się, że trafią na trzykrotnego zwycięstwa Ligi Mistrzów. I myślę, że tutaj więcej do stracenia dzisiaj na pewno ma Halbank, bo, bo Zaksa jest w końcu 14-osobowym składzie, nie tylko na treningu, o którym wspomniał ten Spaczyna, ale też dzisiaj w składzie chyba nie widzieliśmy ich dawno, jeżeli chodzi o skład pełnowymiarowy. Tak, Dużynie. oczywiście tutaj nie ma, nie ma zawodników, którzy są kontuzjowani, to przypomnimy aktualnie Olek Śliwka, wiadomo, ale tu dobre wiadomości same słyszymy, z Olkiem rozmawialiśmy dosyć długo przed meczem. I był uśmiechnięty nawet. Był uśmiechnięty, już rehabilituje tego palca, już zaczyna zginać, więc ta rehabilitacja postępuje bardzo szybko i no, swoje jeszcze musi wypracować oczywiście, ale, ale to są na pewno optymistyczne, optymistyczne wieści. Olka oczywiście nie zobaczymy. Grzegorza Szymańskiego nie ma, Wojtka Żelińskiego, Radosława Gila, Przemysława Stępnia. Można powiedzieć, że Zaksa ma już czwartego rozgrywającego, bo do zespołu dołączył Mateusz Biernat, 32-latek. Dzisiaj będzie miał numer 30. Zaczynał w Stalinysa, potem grał w Wardii Wrocław, ostatnio w Czarnych Radom, ale też grał w takich zespołach jak VK Ostrawa czy do Króla Liberec, nawet w nie był i VFB Friedrichshafen, także na pewno doświadczony zawodnik. No z tym, że to jest teraz zupełnie, zupełnie inne granie, jeśli, jeśli będzie miał taką okazję. Hala się zapełnia powoli, powoli. Nie wiem, czy tutaj będzie 100% frekwencji, na razie się na to nie zanosi. A szkoda, bo jest przeciwnik godny 
jest o co grać i ten doping tutaj by się przydał na pewno. Na pewno liczymy na to, że jeszcze mimo wszystko ludzie, którzy mają karnece i tutaj wypełnią tą halę, bo byłoby to coś na pewno miłego, ale tak jak powiedziałeś, to jest ważne spotkanie. My chcemy dalej awansować do dalszej rundy i, i przede wszystkim Zachca oczywiście chce co dalej awansować, a, a wsparcie, o które będą złożyli, też będzie bardzo potrzebne dzisiaj. Tak, wczoraj Las Palmas wygrało już e, z e, Pragą e, 3 do 0, to pierwsze spotkanie barażowe. Przypomnijmy, w tych barażach grają zespoły, które zajęły drugie miejsca w fazie grupowej. Natomiast zespoły z trzecich miejsc, oprócz jednego, bo najlepsza z trzeciego miejsca też gra w barażach. Te zespoły z trzecich miejsc no, grają już w Lidze Mistrzów i tym jednym z tych zespołów jest Aseko Resovia, która zagra w Pucharze CEF jutro. W ćwierćfinale z Loronem CMC Wartą Zawiercie, Zawiercianie. Od początku e, tych rozgrywek grali w Cefie i tam musieli przejść swoją drogę i e, jutro trafią na, na Sekoresowie. O 17.45 to spotkanie. Serdecznie Państwa zapraszamy do hali e, na Podprofi. Tak, tak, to obserwujemy zawodników podczas rozgrzewki i na pewno to, co Konarz też powiedział dzisiaj w TR Halbanku, mają duży respekt, bo wiedzą, na kogo trafili, wiedzą o problemach jakichś, które Zaksa ma, miała, tego też będziemy obserwować, bo to co już ten z Facina, powtórzymy się, pierwszy raz ma 14 ludzi, pierwszy raz dłuższy okres, przygotowywali się i powiedział jasno, jesteśmy w 100% gotowi w tym zestawie do tego grania. Tak, e, przypomnijmy, grupa Azoty, Zaksa, Kędzierzyn, Koźle, no rzutem na taśmę awansowała tutaj do tego barażu, e, grali ostatni mecz z belgijskim zespołem Knak Roselare, Przegrywali 0 do 2, by wygrać. Well, good evening and welcome to the CV Champions League. I think we just had our wires crossed there for a moment, didn't we? It's uh, a bit of a mix-up in the feeds uh, coming from Poland for what is a huge evening. Welcome uh, wherever you are watching from. We know this is a battle of giants, uh, don't we, Gore Perrin? Here in your picture, the Canadian outsiders. Uh, Hulk Bank Ankara are looking to do what their main rivals uh, in uh, Turkey did earlier on in the season, and that's do the double over the three-time champions, Zaksa. It's a massive evening in the Champions League, and I certainly cannot wait for this one. Well, it's been uh, all change for Zaksa. Nothing's changed uh, for the boys that they're at Hulk Bank, apart from the fact they'll be fancying their chances in this evening and what has been a big uh, mix-up of a season uh, for Zaxa at the moment. Yes, they're the reigning uh, European Championships, uh, sorry, champions uh, of uh, the Champions League. But a change of coach, uh, Tomas uh, Samalevo uh, moving on, replaced uh, by the assistant, uh, Adam Savchena, just uh, a week or so ago. And that's a big move uh, for Zaxa, replacing the coach and putting in uh, the assistant uh, for the remainder of the season. But it's uh, just not been their season so far. Outside of the playoffs, uh, the league form not ideal. Long-term injuries uh, to the American middle, David Smith, and also uh, captain and main stalwarts. In Alexander Slivka who told me today that he's uh, one month away from being fit. So that's uh, good news uh, for Zaxa and Poland fans in the build-up to not only the end of the season, but also what is going to be a uh, huge summer for international volleyball with the Olympics uh, on the horizon. Well, we hope uh, you're ready for this one as we look at the whole bank anchor aside underpinned by Irvin Engerpet and John Gord Perrin on the outside. But Namir Abdul Aziz 
We know uh, what he's about in this game. We'll start in that opposite position this evening where the likes of Lucas Kasmer again scoring well in uh, the Champions League. Uh, we'll team up with Martin Janusz uh, as the setter through to Bartosz Bednor's on the outside. Smith back in the middle after that injury. Christian Daniel uh, Chittagoy is impressing a lot of people on uh, the outside. Well, Namir Abdul Aziz, uh, the Dutch uh, opposite. We know uh, everything about him. Uh, former Trentino, uh, two time runner up of this competition, Lucas Kazmarek, has uh, been very much a big part of the success at Zaxa over the past three seasons of winning the Champions League with three different coaches. It's a playoff round, and uh, the winner goes through to play Lube in what will be a humdinger of a quarterfinals. And uh, if Hotback Ankara do make it, it would be uh, certainly a bit of brotherly love uh, between uh, the Lagomgia brothers, uh, both uh, from uh, Turkey, Mersa, Lagomgia starting uh, on the bench this evening, you would think uh, the youngster, but following in the, his brother Addis's footsteps. Well, after a bronze last year for Holt Bank, they've certainly uh, added to the roster this year. Nine remain from uh, the team that made uh, the semis, but uh, you add. Uh, players like Enger Pethin, John Gore Perinin and uh, Namir Abdelaziz, you know that uh, you are really shooting for the stars, whether well, uh, Namir has been there a little while longer. We're not far away from liftoff here and again, if uh, you're a volleyball fan and you're not watching this game, I want to know why. Some nervous looking uh, Saxa fans here and rightfully so, they were absolutely brilliant. And they've always done it the hard way. Zaxa, haven't they? In lots of ways. They're looking to become the second team to win at least four successive uh, Champions League titles after that dream run from Zenit Kazan when Leon was just uh, on another level. Matt Anderson as well. They did that between uh, 2014 and 2018, four in a row. It's looking tough for Zaxa, but it's uh, not looking impossible. I just feel that the injury to uh, Zaxa Captain uh, Alexander Slivka, who's certainly taking a leadership role, not just in this team, but in the Polish team, has heard them. Andrea Butcher and uh, Lastimil Kova, the two referees uh, for this game. Well, remember, Holbank Ankara missed out on last season's Champions League final, knocked out by uh, Yashemski in the semi finals. Uh, they won away from home 3 2, but it wasn't enough in the end. Yashemski uh, played incredibly well in the early stages in that Champions League final to Zaxa, but Zaxa just turned it up a notch towards the end. The Champions League is back, ladies and gentlemen, and it's an absolute pleasure to have you with us this evening. Well, some introductions before uh, we get to underway. Will Zaxa have uh, the firepower? Yes, they'll have the physicality on the wings this evening. But will they have the consistency needed?
first meeting between the two teams. Well, Slobodan uh, Kovac with uh, Adam Sevchena. Undoubtedly the biggest evening of uh, Sevchena's uh, career. And having spoken to Slivka earlier on, he said he's doing a great job. He's always done a great job as the assistant coach of Zaxa in setting up game plans and being technically astute. He's going to have to be tactically astute this evening for Zaxa. And it'll be interesting to see how he fares as the head honcho of this side. For Kovac, where he's got all this experience to lead on. Former Skra coach, remember, in 2022, no stranger to the Polish league. Well, we meet our references uh, once. And Kova. The winner of this one, uh, take on Lube, who uh, five wins and one loss in their pool. Old back anchor came second uh, to Piacenza, although they beat Piacenza away from home in a fabulous performance early on in the group stage uh, for Zaxa. Three losses in the pool meant they came second at Zirak, the main rivals of Holtbank doing them home and away. Impressive uh, unbeaten run for Zirak in the Champions League thus far. It's time to meet the teams this evening. Well, the away team, uh, as always, uh, first. Their last match uh, in the CV Champions League was away uh, in Benfica, a 3-2 win. There's a start for uh, Matic, uh, Engerpeth, obviously getting the nod in the big one uh, this evening. Uh, Micah Marr is uh, improving all the time in this sport, and he'll have a great time working alongside the likes of Engerpeth and uh, Namir as well. Well, hang on. We look for the confidence. It is uh, Magum Shear that starts uh, on uh, the outside. So it is exactly the same start for uh, starting six for Slobodan Kovac. That's uh, a big start with uh, John Cor Perrin starting on the bench this evening. Well, uh, for Zach uh, Eric Shoji uh, already out there, but it looks like a strong and familiar side for Zaxa. Janusz setting Kazmarek uh, opposite Bednorz and Chittagoy on the outside. Smith and the Norwegian Andreas uh, Takvam starting in the middle. It's a different looking side uh, to the team that won the Champions League uh, last year with no uh, Slivka. And also uh, losing the likes of uh, Norbert Huber as well. who, uh, albeit was off the bench, uh, but a strong middle throughout the Champions League campaign. There'll be big uh, moments in this one. And you can't uh, really pick a favourite with Zaxa at home, but it's uh, a very strange feeling knowing that it hasn't been uh, the best run of form for Zaxa as of late, a couple of wins in a row domestically has certainly helped things out for uh, Adam Sajena. And the fans will certainly have a big part to play now. Daniel Chinagoy will get us underway, a big server in this game, uh, but out the back. He was the best server in the European Championship uh, at under 18 level in 2022. And uh, he's taken over Hoover's number away from him, the number 99. He's almost as big as Norbert Hoover at 203 as well. Eh? Start towards uh, position one. Straight on uh, to Chinagoy, early doors, and uh, Kazmarek uh, opens his account for the evening. Uh, here, that's point number 111 for him. Yanush is going to have to uh, rely on him a lot. Smith doing a good job getting in early, trying to take the middle away. Engerpeth uh, gets hit off high hands. Well, it'll be a big battle between uh, Engerpeth and uh, Kazmarek in this one. And Engerpeth again is just showing his creativity as uh, 
Kazmarek gets up uh, incredibly early, sees the aggressive approach from Engapet, and it's the speed of the tip that does it. It's uh, actually not off of uh, Kazmarek. Uh, in the end, it's uh, off of uh, Tagvan. Oh, hammer! Nothing Soji can do about that one. And uh, if you're paying attention now, uh, number 10, Tuno Zunkol. Uh, oh, sorry, Yunus uh, Teaz. Uh, you're getting my middles uh, mixed up. 206. And if you look at this team, uh, underpinned by uh, giants out there. Akamov, ace for the American. And this will be interesting for Zaxa, how they. Uh, Responds already in this game because the whole bank have come out firing, but in the middle, there's on call Matic uh, 205 and 211 on the outside. Uh, Lagomzia 205 as well. They're uh, gonna fire some heavy artillery, and well, Ben North is gonna have to be uh, there all evening long and be consistent. He's 201 himself, but. High hands, uh, the man who previously at Zenit Kazan also uh, played in Shanghai before uh, joining Zaxa midway through uh, the season last year and really grew, in, grew into performance uh, in that Champions League final. Big evening for uh, Tak Van here. Engerpeth uh, left with the one on one and he scores convincingly. Uh, looking to retain that Olympic gold medal this uh, summer at home. It's a big summer for French uh, volleyball on the horizon. And uh, this game's starting to give us everything that we wanted already. Reverse play. Setting long lines, trying to stretch the block. But uh, say so that's why uh, Adam Gier is in this evening, just to uh, add that aggressive outlet, especially in these out-of-system plays on the wing it's incredibly high and it's an off-speed play three up in the block trying to uh, take all the angles axa and i think uh, this out of system option is a big one for holt bank here engerpet uh, stays uh, high and it's uh, looking for the seam with that off-speed shot not the start that Zaxa would have wanted but it's only early early doors here again Zaxa missing Slivka for at least uh, one more month. So he'll be hoping that Zaxa uh, staying the competition, giving him a chance uh, to come back in. His leadership will be a miss, his creativity on the wing, and uh, his passing as well. Tavan goes after Engerpeth early on through the middle, and uh, this is where uh, some of the problems will be if they're in system here. Hulk Bank, the middles are going to be tough to stop at the height that they're running at. Serve fairly central makes it easier to run that middle for uh, Mike Amart. And in turn, uh, Matic can just do it best to turn the ball on the cutback. Smith uh, paying attention to the approach line of uh, the middle spiker and trying to get in the way of it. Oh, big angles. Uh, but to no avail, Chittagoy misses out. Also in that very quick uh, conversation with Slivka earlier on, he was just saying that uh, Chittagoy is really starting to come to the party and he sees uh, all of the qualities of a top, top player were his words. And let's see if he's uh, got it in him uh, this evening. Let's uh, not forget. Chittagoy is uh, still just a youngster. Engerpev playing defense is a really nice position that Engerpev's taken up. He may have been blocked, uh, but he won't mind about that. He's going to gun again, and he does gun again. And I think this is uh, what we love to see about Champions League volleyball as a constant aggressiveness from the likes of the mirror. The arm opens up beautifully. And as soon as the elbow gets up, it opens up the line and the sharp angle. The 
Amir only has uh, one gear. And he goes again, long line setting, and that's uh, putting the middles under pressure. Good positioning from uh, Ben North, but it sits in the seam, and that's exactly what he should do. But if the seam's open, you just back the power of uh, Namir to put that ball away. Free ball chance then for uh, Zaxa, second phase. Fast play, uh, he's just flipping it back uh, to the right side. Ingepet now going with the tip, Shoji is there. There's a lot of big names out here this evening. And it's another error this time uh, from the right side. I think they're uh, trying to look for a decision here. Shitagoi not 19 until March. Already showing his absolute quality, isn't he? There's somebody who's got a few more seasons under his uh, belt. In Smith, he had an absolutely superb campaign last year. It's a big ask uh, for the youngster who uh, would have come here, you'd think, uh, to be a, a bench player and to gain some experience. And with that injury to Slithker, it means he's uh, right in the mix. Namir! Soji does his best uh, to get in front of it, but Namir left uh, with no blocker is dangerous. Great dig. From Yanush shirt the first time, but it wasn't no block, it was just uh, a slither was open on that right side. Well, Kovac uh, said in his pre match interview, if uh, you were watching, that they prepared uh, for a, a performance uh, against uh, Zaxa without Slivka, and they uh, know what the loss has been, but you certainly can't underestimate the Zaxa side. Uh, either, especially uh, with this man uh, in the middle either. Best middle blocker in the Champions League uh, last season. David Smith has added it again. He's been in Poland a long, long time now. Smith. Since 2016, uh, when he signed from Tours. Tours also uh, in the playoff rounds. against Berlin, recycling volleys. Uh, they were looking to reach the quarters uh, for the fourth year in a row. Tours have been eliminated uh, in each of their last five playoff appearances. So they're looking to uh, beat the German side and break that duck. One to the outside. Smith uh, in his one rotation playing at five, not quite getting his hands on that one. Kamara again uh, with an early ace. Namir on the front court. Trying to keep the ball away, and uh, big one. That is uh, one way to silence this home crowd. Engerpeth uh, just drifting on uh, to the line and closing beautifully. Have a look at the eyes of Engerpeth. He is there this evening. Had his injury problems uh, during the summer at Euro Volley, but back fully fit and flourishing. Hey, guys, we have to be precise on the balls of the net because sometimes we put them off the net and we don't close the block or they push between, so then jump straight on the ball. Maybe. Well, it must be a pinch me moment to be out here this evening uh, for Chittagoy. But when you play uh, for Zaxa, uh, there's a lot of expectation. And it's a good timeout uh, from uh, Sochena. Say, constantly incredibly impressed uh, by 
Mike Amar, the setter, best setter voted uh, in the Champions League last year, also the best setter in the NCAA in uh, 2018, but he just keeps growing in stature. Okay, Zaxa, uh, he might have just got blocked, uh, but Kazmarek goes back and uh, sticks it straight back to hold back Ankara here. Lagosia. An aggressive, uh, offensive player will be put under the pump in the pass. This team does a good job to get his arms on that one. It was a very good reach, uh, low on the left side. Zaxer again, sensing something here. And the line was open. Bednorch gets one past uh, Engerpeth here. And look at the eyes underneath or through the net. Engerpeth the showman, Bednall's uh, trying to take it to the Frenchman. To the middle. And this is where the game is interesting in my eyes. Uh, Teaz again. Just have a look at Tagman trying to take uh, position five, the approach line of the spiker, and again. Hold back score with that cut back uh, to position one. He's a big, big boy. And it could be trouble uh, for Zaxa uh, in that position if the reception is uh, good enough this evening that Kovac's side can keep running that middle. Bednor's uh, good little run from him. Soji in at six. Uh, plays a good light footwork from Soji. It really was to track that ball back and get his arms on it. See him tracking it all the way back, uh, locked in with the arms, and the second tempo pipe attack is glorious from Zaxa, really is. And that's uh, one way to uh, win this middle game. Keep running the middle in different variations. You run the pipe, you use different variations of that middle attack, and it all helps uh, make it difficult for the big middles of uh, Ankara here. Mar just flips it to uh, Namir, and that's the beautiful thing about having Abdulaziz uh, on the right side. You can put him in almost any situation, and uh, he'll have a good chance of scoring the ball. Fast ball situations, slow ball situations. It's just a cannon. I think this battle between uh, Kazmarek and Namir is so key tonight as well because Marek such an experienced customer now winning uh, at a high level but he didn't really uh, fire for the first couple of sets in the uh, Champions League final and uh, when he started firing sets three onwards all of a sudden uh, it took the pressure off the likes of Ben Norris and Slifka a little bit and opened up a lot more splits at the net there's a net touch here more service pressure Macro serving position one. Trying to force the ball again to the outside. And uh, that's an error from Kazmarek. Kazmarek gets the ball again. And you have to say, uh, this time he does slot the ball away, but it's credit to the serving of. Uh, Hold bank at the moment, just putting enough pressure on to force uh, Danusha's arm. There's uh, no opposite there. The ball's a little bit off the net. He's chasing, so he has to stabilize the play a little bit. Kazmarek is, uh, has done exactly what he was there to do. Oh, big net band ace! And that's a little bit of a turning point. Kovac uh, 
Have a little look at the skies. In these situations, you always need a little bit of luck. Got a penny for the thoughts this evening of uh, Adam Sachena, also worked alongside uh, Kretsu as the assistant coach. He's had a lot of experience uh, watching and Namir. Again, they're just giving him a little bit of line because uh, we all know how good Namir is uh, through the cross court. Again, the ball has to sit up perfectly and get across the arm of uh, Namir for that to open, but he's so high there that well, the higher you are, the more angles you have. You can just turn that one to the line. Soji again on the money maker. Oh! Huge moment! Big bit of commitment from Teyaz. Balls uh, just drifted a little bit across Smith there, and Teyaz has made the reach. Three point game now. Yanush flips it to the outside. Bednorge is there again. They need a big performance tonight from Bednorge. They really do. Spent a lot of the international season uh, on the bench due to the uh, absolute firepower that Poland have uh, on the wings internationally. But he's a big, big player for Zaksa. Namir is just so high and so difficult to stop. They want the decision here. And they get it for the hand over. That's the thing when you're uh, 205 plus. Really does not take a lot to uh, reach over that net. No complaints from Namir though, surely. Back to one. Let's have a listen in to uh, Slobodan Kovac. Kamara's having a wonderful time. In comes uh, John Gord Perrin. Eight different countries now, 13 different clubs. Second time in uh, Turkey. Actually won the uh, Challenge Cup with Belgorod, uh, coached by uh, Slobodan Kovac, that team. So you can uh, understand why he's got him here and the level of trust he has in uh, Perrin. I mean, he's had a phenomenal career, the Canadian outside. 5-2 then, Mars back, and uh, he certainly unleashes good rhythm, not the highest toss we've seen in the Champions League, but he gets a lot of energy through the ball. Three up again, and that is uh, Engerpeth doing Engerpeth things here. That's naughty. Three in the block. Soji uh, said sorry to say maybe I should have been on the outside. But the way he can turn that ball with the speed that he does. Unreal. And unmatched. You always expect him to pull a rabbit from the hat. Engerpet. Now he's got to hit his way out of the system. What he's got. Three up against him again. And this time he goes up against Bednos. It's a smart decision because Bednos has got to travel such a big distance here to get in and press. So he knows his target. He takes him on uh, and gets a touch off of the block. Engerpet is cooking. Hulkbank are cooking on gas as well here. Okay, if it's difficult reception, play with the block or play smart. But when it's good reception, guys, we go full to kill the spike. Okay? That's it. Come on, come on. He 
have to say, yep, they've been good value so far. But we also have to say that although Zaxa are building in the right direction, this is still quite not a Zaxa performance as we've seen previously in the Champions League uh, seasons. Micah Mark. Outside, that's uh, very smooth. I think it's interesting to hear what uh, Savchena spoke about. And uh, yes, it's not rocket science, but it's very important. When the first pass isn't there, make decisions. You don't have to go full aggression. Work with the block like we saw from Bednorz there. And then when you're in rhythm and everything's functioning, you can get the hammer out and you can really go for your swings. He's uh, just been brought off. You've got to love the Champions League because it could just... Uh, turn in a blink of an eye. Engerpeth okay from the right side. And you just have to enjoy Engerpeth when he's in this sort of form. He's uh, not been stopped uh, so far. Maybe that one block on uh, well, Bednos is blocked but it's set point. Hot back anchor away from home. Passes uh, a little off the net, and that's uh, absolute credit. Running the middle. Uh, when the pass isn't quite there. One saved. He said that Ben Norge needs a huge game. It's in uh, to the net. And the opening set here in the playoff round of uh, the Champions League goes the way of Hulkbank anchor away from home. Playing with confidence and uh, without many errors at all. They have the physicality. They've taken the open at 25-21. Well, here are uh, the stats at the moment. Maybe a little bit higher than both teams uh, would have liked, but the Hulk Bank pass is uh, key here. And in turn, uh, that's uh, been the recipe. The middles uh, are cooking, and it means uh, that it takes a bit of the pressure off of the likes of Namir. And Well, confirmation uh, here from uh, the Azotti Hall. 25-21. I mean, Zaxa will have uh, their chances here in set two. That's a no-brainer. You can join the conversation. Hashtag uh, CL Volley M. Feel that big performances are needed from the likes of Kazmarek and bed doors from this point inwards the pass has to improve as well Zaxa just won't want to lose at home otherwise it would make it very difficult next week in the Lions den
second set uh, underway. The first set of this tie going towards uh, Holbank. Zaxa is still in this one. And they just need those uh, small things to go their way. Bednor's uh, out the back. As mentioned, the winner of this game will play uh, against Lube, the likes of uh, Chaco and Chininese, the Lasso. Sides up as well. It's just going to be uh, a phenomenal ending once again to the most prestigious volleyball league in the world. And Zaxa here at. Uh, you have to maybe ask some questions. The pass of uh, the youngster just going. It's no surprise that he's getting a lot of the pressure here. Bednor's on the front court. They're still choosing uh, to go after Chittagoy on the back. Now they do go to Bednor's trying to upset the rhythm of the front court receiver and stick a line block straight in his face. And uh, that's a good swing. Perrin says... Uh, Okay. Well, if Zaxa can pass uh, with that sort of conviction, then of course uh, they have a chance. If they serve with this conviction, and if you remember last year, Smith was just uh, inspiring, went on a few runs of serves when Zaxa needed him the most. Uh, Engerpeth. Uh, Kazmarek draws the hands away, but uh, Janusz is uh, right behind him. That's uh, the difficulty with uh, Engerpeth. You would love just to be able to see what he sees on his approach, wouldn't you? How much of a read that he gets in each situation to then make the decisions that he makes is uh, fascinating. Did he see the hands pulled away? You would think so. Nice play from Zaxa. Well, we've seen that man a few times before uh, on our Champions League coverage. Banging the drum, but it's uh, Zaxa that need to bang the drum from the service line. And they do bang the drum from the service line, but again, uh, always expect the unexpected. And my command oh, must have a fascinatingly wonderful time working with Engerpet when he just turns up in positions, goes in front this time. And uh, of course, the middle fit. Blocker, Dan Vam's affected uh, by the timing of Engerpeth because uh, he understands this game as well as anybody. More combinations. Dangerous now for Zaxa. Because uh, in both sets, they've started slightly slowly. Perrin's doing a wonderful job there. He won't get the credit he deserves for that. Just tracking the play and just looking for that hook back in the set. Uh, really good work off the ball and maybe, just maybe uh, he's gone to Perrin for some stability uh, rumour has it that uh, Jay Blanken now the Canadian set is uh, going over to Hong Bank as well so double Canadian trouble Everybody will be very nice in the changing room of uh, Old Bank. Nothing nice about that serve. High and wide. Soji uh, tries to hold the middle blocker and go uh, to the young gun. You have to say, uh, Slipka was saying earlier on, that he has uh, everything needed to be uh, an absolute superstar. We're seeing that as well, but it's uh, whether today is the day for Chittagoy to really step up. It's a big ask uh, for an 18-year-old. Bednor's into the net again. Same as the back end of the previous set. Serving to position one. 
This time, uh, the pass is in a great situation, and where in the previous uh, set we saw Janusz just send that ball to position four, and the middle was there. Have a look at the message that sends. Flipping it back, and the middle's always uh, trying to track and drift. Good setting from Janusz, just stressing out the middle block. Up. The ball goes from right to left, and then left to right, and the middle's uh, caught in a couple of different minds. Perrin, perfect from Perrin. And as soon as that ball shifts uh, from five to two, the play uh, opens up again, so the ball can go back to Perrin. Smith uh, has to hold, and it's the perfect time again to go off the middle blocker because of the distance that the ball has traveled in two directions with the speed on it as well. Amir into the net this time. One of the best. Uh, we've seen in this generation best server at Euro Volley and at the Nations League in the summer 39 individual awards uh, being best opposite the Champions League as uh, we said last uh, season that's huge and uh, if somebody can tell me how to stop the middles at the moment a good answer which doesn't involve passing poorly then I'm all ears because uh, Teaz and Matic are currently way too high and uh, hitting way too many good angles when the pass is there that's nice though I think this pipe attack with uh, Bednors is uh, a recipe for success Matic uh, holds a little bit with the middle Smith and then uh, tries to make that move to protect position one Ventors, uh, again, keeping the ball out of six. Testing the defense, who uh, are trying just to uh, flatten up. Again, the middles are on the money. And this is uh, dangerous for Zaxa because uh, Anchor's pass is uh, right on the money maker at the moment. They're running the middles with uh, ease. You have the same arse having a good game here. Matic this time uh, turns it a bit sharper than the previous ball, and Smith knows that he's got a big evening on his hands. Defense is there. Transition. They're trying to run quick and there's a net touch against Engerpeth and you can see what they're trying to do here. Just uh, run it quick. Oh, what's going on here? Out of uh, rhythm for Engerpeth because then he can look for the block. He's uh, a man that loves to dictate the play and to uh, dictate the players in front of him. The quicker you run him in those situations, the uh, more he's going to be able to work his fast arm and creativity. Smith, big chances for Zaxa. It's a good serve, but Engerpeth is uh, equal to it. And if they don't go to uh, Engerpeth there, who holds on to the pass well. Probably the biggest compliment there for Engerpeth is that uh, he gives that ball enough height that Mark can use all of his options from that situation. And it takes the pressure off of him offensively. Good news uh, for Ankara as Smith uh, stops serving and Mark comes back to serve and uh, unleashes another bullet. It's another error from Bednors. A couple of service errors, a couple of hitting errors. That's a huge rocket of a serve, and uh, Bednors is really under the pump here. He's uh, going to have to come in and try and make a block now. Doesn't go his way. He goes uh, to Engerpeth, who tries to maintain uh, the advantage here, and that's a good swing from Bednors. It's exactly what Zaxa needs. It's uh, good work off the ball. Have a watch here. He kicks off, kicks out. Just here. He has a great approach to the ball with the speed that's... Uh, coming towards him, he can shape it away. Sacks the trail by two. Good service. And again, using the middle from uh, way off the net, that you can do that with the height that they have. Uh, we'll give that block uh, to Bednors for the time being.
Well, seems like uh, the Zaxa fans still having a little bit of fun here. Zaxa. It's uh, fascinating. Bednor's uh, in and out. They're going to need him to really take the ball by the horns. Will Zaxa still be in the Champions League uh, when uh, Oleg Slivka comes back? from his injury. There's uh, Kovac who's uh, masterminding this so far. I think he's done a very good job, but Zizki stays in. And uh, one of the retainers uh, from the Champions League team last year alongside uh, the likes of Bednor and Janusz, Kromislav Sepian as well. But here's uh, the challenge. We didn't quite get the picture that we'd want, but it, uh, Hits the net. Was there a touch there? No touch. Yeah, you don't want to wind that man up. You really don't. Now, uh, Namir's still uh, throwing his uh, opinions uh, to the referee. Watch out, Saxon. You don't want to wind... Uh, that man up too much. I mean, he's uh, not got two runners up, but uh, medals in the Champions League. Uh, one, one with uh, Cunio back in 2013 and then Trentino in 2021. He also hasn't won a league title uh, since uh, the Eredivisie in 2009 with uh, Appledorn. And that's uh, a fascinating stat. I mean, at the moment, Hobbanker. Uh, going very well uh, in the league as that uh, pairing just really good speed and once again Mar is just uh, running the show here using the middles using the pipe holding uh, the likes of uh, Krasinski and uh, Smith Again, targeting uh, Namir, who has the longest uh, space to travel to get in and block. This is huge moments here. Bednorz, can he bring it now? Yes, he can. It's a great serve. No middle attack this time, but that's the beauty of uh, this performance. It's gone down. Hang on, Namir uh, thinks he just changed direction of the ball enough with his arm to get the touch up. Uh, Block out. Wow. Hold up a moment. There's a little smile from uh, the youngster here. And uh, justice has uh, been done there. I think it's going you that. Such a great swing from uh, Namir. He'll know the situation he's in and he'll know that the blockers are having to work to get their line and press. So to change direction and look for the outside hand off that inside ball that the blockers tracking inside with is a very, very smart move. Teas. Serving short on uh, Chittagoy. Well. Hang on a minute. Namir is now uh, looking for another decision. Gets up one-on-one uh, -on -one into the approach line. Did it touch uh, Chittagoy on the way out is the question. No is the answer. Jiski. Another big serve. But uh, Engapeth is there again. He's very relaxed. And Namir is getting into the thick of it here. They've run the middle a lot. But the passer hasn't quite been there as of late because of the service pressure. Engapeth is magic. And the connection with the setter is uh, on the money. 
just drags the play back. Uh, Smith holds with the middle. He has to in that situation. Matic has been used a lot. And that run from Engerpeth opens up that seam between the two blockers. In system. Soji brilliant away from the body. That's uh, incredibly good uh, defensive work from the Libero uh, Vulcan Donne. Eight different clubs uh, since uh, 2004. He's 36 years old now at uh, the Libero. He's played for Sirad as well, but another one that hasn't won the Turkish League. Have this uh, underpinning experience uh, for them here at Hong Bank this year. They certainly have a well-balanced team. Let's put it that way. Perrin's come off the bench uh, this evening and really just added to this uh, performance in terms of consistency and the first pass has been there, but that's what we've uh, come to expect from uh, Perrin. It's part of that uh, World League bronze uh, team in 2017 that beat the USA for Canada underneath uh, Stefan Antigua with the likes of Nick Hogan, Stephen Marshall, and Ray and Big Ross as well. He's not quite getting everything his own way at the moment, uh, Irvin, is he? Service is. Uh, out of rhythm, there is no middle here, and this is where uh, Engerpeth will have to get creative on the slow ball. Then on the fast ball, we will look for the hands, and the, the blockers are ready with quick hands, and... Oh! <laughs> Michael Maher just uh, jumps up like a jack-in-the-box and dispatches it to the line. Big play and a big turn from the American sort of uh, goes to show the aggression that they've had here this evening, Hold back Ankara, they need to bring it again. Engerpeth in rhythm, a bit of a dummy two ball, suckers in the block, and again, that second ball play from our previously just sets up this one magically. Well, it's a bit of a dummy two ball, and uh, Hold back are playing with a little bit of flair, and if you get Engerpeth one-on-one, -on -one, you see Kasmarek go reaching into the angle because that's where he's facing. Engerpeth just turns with a little bit of extra, uh, or an extra dimension. Out of rhythm, now Zax's pass is re Oh my word! Zax! And although that's only one point of this match, that completely shows us uh, where Zax's heads are at. Well, timeout taken. They might need to take two or three. Well, it's a very good timeout to uh, force the error. Pretty much knows that this is uh, a huge moment in this game. Smith serving. I'm back needing to uh, get him off the rotation. That's exactly what happened. And this is what I mean from Zaxa at the moment. Nothing's really going for them. Oh, 
Now once more. Into system this time. Pressure on the serve. Uh, we're just bringing that ball a little bit softer into the center of the court due to the big net touch uh, on the way through deflection. But again, Kazmarek is uh, getting creative there. Perrin again is uh, absolutely superb. Passing with control and then uh, flourishing on the pipe. Then the Mir is ready. Engerpeth is stopped and he hasn't been stopped that often this evening. But through the last few points, Zaxa is starting to uh, figure him out. Great touch uh, defensively from Kazmarek initially. say Kazmarek, Bednorz need to be there in these moments if Saxa want to retain this Champions League this season and Kazmarek is there in this moment and Zaxa are back to one very good timeout from uh, Adam Sachena moments ago the tide has turned slightly since that time and now it's time for Kovac to get involved having a great game. The whole bank uh, general. We have to say uh, Namir has been a threat, but he hasn't been overused. And uh, I think that's the secret here. Oh, and uh, maybe I've just jinxed, uh, or jinxed. Mar here is, uh, that's his first mistake of uh, the evening. Engpeth uh, just straightening that ball up a little bit too much. And, Ball moving slightly too far away from uh, Mar. Zaxa so at 19 all, and Anchor have just uh, had a little bit of a dip in performance, and that's because Kazmarek's serve is uh, damaging. Zaxa take the lead. What are we watching here? Moments ago, there was communication issues. They were all over the place. But post timeout. Kazmarek has uh, up the service pressure and they're starting to get their block in the game. Janusz. Colossal. Best setter of Euro volley uh, doing some real damage at the net in the blocking phase. It's off the net. This has to go away. Good blocking. It's great use from Bednors. Then they can build through and what is this? Saxa are back. Big energy from Kazmarek. He's made a couple of digs now that are crucial to this Champions League game or even the Champions League campaign. in a row. Wowza. With the roster that they have and the attacking options, the pass has gone. But you have to say, Kazmarek got some brilliant performances uh, last year. 27 points uh, away at Trentino. En route to the final. Now, uh, Kovac says, finally. He's 
both timeouts trying to uh, upset the service rhythm. And again, uh, Zizki this time trying to take uh, the straight angle from the middle away, and it's the cutback that scores. Pretty good stats from Engapeth uh, this evening, and I reckon five or ten minutes ago they would have been even better. Engapeth wants to touch. Calming down slightly, Engpeth uh, into his uh, more experienced years. Chitikoy back in. Vanak uh, replaced. Let's see where this goes now. Zaxa looked out of this 10 minutes ago, but the big players are coming uh, to fruition here. The outside, Perrin stop now. And they've hit a bit of a wobble here. No matter where they go to, there's a Zaxa blocker. Early move to the outside. And Janusz is back in the thick of it. Champions League victory, well, win. Janusz has been uh, superb the last couple of seasons uh, for club and for country. Off the hand, it's another Zaxa block. This is wild. And even uh, the very best in the world can be shook in this sport. Challenge coming in from Ankara, but he has been uh, the figure point for a few of these decisions so far, hasn't he? Oh, and that one is an F fault. Loud and clear. Is uh, is it Umbar? comes into the team uh, to serve. A little bit of pressure here. First set point. Zaxa are looking for in this game. And uh, this is crazy because there's still a chance here for Holt Bank. If uh, they can hang on, they can't hang on. And again, this pipe attack from Zaxa, I don't think it's missed yet. Ziski doing a great job taking the middle and the mid, trying to get in on it, but uh, all the work was done by Brzezinski and Bednors. Okay, as in the change again. Now it is the first set point for uh, Zaxa, brilliant work uh, from Mar again. And in this situation, he has to be so quick with the first two steps of his feet to shift that play back to position two. Just here, to still show that he can go to the outside and have a split on each uh, wing. It's a very healthy split, but in these big moments, you would say that uh, they will always go to Namir. Timeout, Zaxa. Have a look at that run. Anchor have looked comfortable all evening until now. Watch out. It's 
done it before and he'll do it again in these situations, the mere. And it's a big serve in this situation. And the block is it or is it out? It's been given out. Kasmorek smuggles one for Zaxa. And what a comeback from them here in set two. The odds were against them. But they're uh, the champions of Europe for a very good reason. Or we have a challenge. Let's go. I think Ankara are well within their right here. And uh, block out. Good challenge, uh, but the damage has been done. We've got some game on our hands here in the Champions League. Zaxa pull it back to one set apiece against Ankara when, uh, well, they were looking lacklustre for the first half of the set. They found pressure from the service line. Kazmarek uh, on the absolute money here. And we go to set three, one apiece. Stats are interesting here. Passing uh, percentage has gone down for both sides. They siege for the three blocks from Zaxa. Again, uh, due to good service pressure, just putting the pressure on the reception. And uh, on Mar as well. Hasn't uh, quite gone the way for Anchor. And I think if you're Slobodan Kovac, uh, he might see Karma. Well, let's see uh, what comes our way in set three. Hold back anchor are going to have to uh, push for their level once again here. Join the conversation, Champions League uh, Volley M. And uh, Kazmarek certainly uh, got the fire burning. Zaxa in set two. And that's what they need from... Uh, Big players, Bednorsk now with so much experience and Kazmarek as uh, the outlet for them and they managed to silence the likes of uh, Engelpeth with a couple of blocks. Perrin also uh, blocked out once as well in set two, but for me that service run of uh, the Zaxa opposite is a big difference here. Certainly adding a little bit in the middle uh, Pashinsky, Ukrainian uh, middle block, he used to play Gdansk. He's actually the best blocker in uh, Plus Liga all the way back in uh, 2015. He's also got a little bit more uh, height on him than uh, Tak Van. And that's uh, a big advantage in a game like this when you're playing against two incredibly big middles. The service pressure is uh, back for Zaxa. They're starting to grow into this game through the pipe. It's a magical swing. And uh, Chittagoy again. The 
see Engerpeth just pinching in, trying to protect position five, but Chidaboy is uh, very high out there. He's two meters three himself, but big outside spike. Namir. Well, this is absolutely fascinating for Ankara here because they've just gone missing over the last 15 or 20 minutes or so, and they've had the level for one and a half sets. And where nothing was going Zax's way, now nothing is going the way of Holtbank Ankara. Smith it. Wrong side of the sideline for uh, Smith. And uh, there's a man who might just be uh, starting to enjoy himself slightly. You can imagine that the confidence in the camp of uh, Zax are not as high uh, at the moment. Uh, due to their league form. I mean, they're currently at seven ninth position in the uh, plus league. Nine wins, nine losses. Luckily won their last two. Shemsky currently leading the way and uh, Project Varshva also having a very good season. Tverci in third place, but no Zaks are at the top, uh, or at least the top four is a problem. This is not a problem for Bednors though. This is absolutely wild. Namir is struggling to score. And as we've seen earlier, he loves going wrist away on that 10 attack and Bednors is just set up really well on him. A bit wider than he was earlier on. Pipe attack. I don't know if I've seen Kazmarek make as many dicks. This time on the fly, but great reactions from uh, the fella. Committing the middle, and uh, rightfully so, the pass is in. This is uh, the moments where we're going to learn a lot about Hulk Bank. And uh, Ma, who's had a great opening two sets, is serving. It'll be interesting to see how he runs this game now. Uh, the pressure's really on. Dump over the three because they're not quite in rhythm with that pipe. The tempo is. Uh, Slightly out, and uh, Engerpeth is uh, back making points for Holtbank. He's uh, special, isn't he? Probably said that two or three times uh, already, but he really is. 28 individual awards. Uh, phenomenal Olympic Games. Uh, in Tokyo, this is tight. Namir can't put that one away. And, uh, well, luckily, oh, standing shot. I mean, A for effort. I mean, uh, what you'll be getting a little bit of a taste for is just how physical these guys are when uh, Spark can hit the ball like that from a standing position. I still feel like Holtbank got away with something there. The set was way too tight for. Namir and he had to uh, just do anything he could to manage that risk. No way. Oh, what a swing. Standing shot. No problem for uh, that man there, Lucas Kazmarek. Okay, chance to transition, slow ball up to the wing, brush black. And we're starting uh, to see Chittagoy really uh, make smart decisions, three in the angle, and it's the brush line that does the damage. Does this uh, have all the makings of uh, a five setter here. I think it does. That's uh, Perrin again. So he sort of says, My bad, uh, as if he's just uh, caught a little bit out. But again, bringing the play back, it's shifted to the left, so it's shifted back to the right. And then it's uh, seen as being surged for. So says, I probably should have closed that one. Engerpeth. Uh, 
a little bit of a mixture, isn't it, of uh, Ankara just dropping their level and at the same time, not much really going for them. In a few little decisions like the standing shot from uh, Kazmarek or a few plays and an ace like that. My word. Engerpetha misses by a millimetre. Pazinski uh, with a big cross body. That's almost run unreceivable. What do you do there? If you shift the passing unit round, uh, you give him the line, and that's exactly where the approach is. So he's just at a real sharp angle. He looks for the other sideline. That's uh, what we got accustomed to with uh, Smith last year, just going after one sideline and the other. Great game on our hands here. Oh, hang on, Kovac is in the game. First time we've seen uh, the pipe attack missed by Bednors and uh, wasn't because of a lack of aggression. Testing moments now uh, for the passing unit of uh, Zaxa as they uh, Look to hold on, but again, it's another error. You've got to go for your serves in these big games, but uh, Kovac is fuming. Ganoush. Serving on Perrin, the front court receiver. He didn't start uh, this evening, but that's exactly why he's been brought in to stabilize everything they're doing out there but uh not stabilizing much at the moment zaxa are on a real charge and we spoke about uh, chittagoy stepping up it's a fast arm that beats uh, the speed of the block namir reaching in and he's coming good Interesting. More mistakes uh, with the float serve than the spin serve. And uh, also fully aware that uh, Zaxa are a team that use the block a lot. It's asking him to close. Obviously feeling that they're, they're not pressing enough into the space. On the target, second ball, jump set from Engerpath, and not even that's working. It's a massive play from that man again. One on one, big press, Bosch. Chittagoy is a young man living the absolute dream at the moment. Stepping up in uh, the big moments of the biggest game of uh, the season. And again, what are we watching here? Into the angle, he's a good meter or so off the net, and he can still turn it. Well, just a reverse uh, sub as Mersha Nagamjia comes back in. Perrin rested at the moment. It'll be interesting to see uh, how this fares. He might get served here. No, Engerpetha doing the lion's share of the passing over there. And well, Namir says, uh, I just watched you get a big stuff block. I'm going to get creative now. I know how high you're going. Blocker goes high, Namir goes low. Smart thinking. Big pass that, aggressive pass, trying to get the one-on-one. -on -one. The one-on-one -on -one was uh, taken by Janusz, but missed by Chittagoy. Can they sustain this level here? 
in the mere serving, and it could all change in an instant. Isn't working for them, is it? Kovac, uh, obviously, a little bit more patient with uh, players missing the spin serves. As you can see, the uh, float serves being missed, uh, or as you can hear, really grinding the gears of uh, the head coach of Hold Bank. Two missed serves in a row. One back. Step by step, this uh, Bednors tries to come back to the line, and Mar is there. Almost just reaching back to the line, almost uh, showing that it's a little bit open and taking away. It could all change now. Shows he does a brilliant job, an absolutely brilliant job there. Bednors. Uh, having got stopped to the line. But let's have a look. Eric Soji is one of the very best in the world at what he does. And that was fabulous. Pancake to sharp angle. Don't get much better than that. Soji uh, joined after two years at Urengoy. He's had two stints in uh, Russia. Novisabursk and uh, Berlin, who are uh, also in action this evening. Smith's uh, spin serve again is a wonderfully placed uh, spin serve. Takes uh, Engerpeth out of the offense as much as possible. And how many times do we see that from Marwin? When Engerpeth's under pressure, he just flips it straight to the mid. And uh, we know that Jitagoy is going to be a service target here. We heard from uh, Kovac that he's struggling to pass. But at the same time, Kazmarek is certainly there this evening in every way, shape, and form. Well done from Bednors to get that ball into a situation where Kazmarek can turn it off the hands of Engerpeth. Here we go again. Engerpeth finds a way through. And, uh, probably a sigh of relief somewhere from Kovac. Quick play. Keep uh, Engerpeth uh, that much quicker, smaller. Needs to try and find the gaps and uh, work through the block. Miss serve uh, from uh, Holtbank. And if I had a penny for every Holtbank miss served in this set, would be a rich man, but I'd be richer. Bad noise. That's a good serve, and equally as good a pass, though. Huge from Engerpet. And that was uh, all through. Uh, building through the rally. Namir, physical through the first phase. Uh, seeing Chidaboy get targeted uh, quite often here. Probably going to see it again, especially he's on the front court. Maybe uh, Engerpet will try and take him out. That's exactly what happens. He does try and take him out by serving him short. And uh, in turn, the pass isn't there and they're struggling now. Big point that. And uh, Nagamjia. Again, doesn't have to hit the ball so hard. He just stays high and it's very smooth. And he's a big problem when he does that. Timeout for Zaxa. Hey, it's getting very interesting. He will go maybe over Elvis. We stay in six. And five, you go outside of the block. Dima. Well, 
Kazmarek has uh, helped revitalize this performance uh, thus far. Engerpet uh, certainly can do the same. Big serves. So she uh, off the net at the moment. And there you go. Chitagoy again. And this is why he's so promising at such a young age. Out of system ball. He can kick out. He can come and find it. And he can hammer all away from the body. Sequence of things that uh, aren't too easy, but they are uh, easier if you're that height. Calmness needed on the ball. And, uh, Kazmarek tries on the 10 to go full power in there. I don't think they'll worry about that. Zaxa, gonna have to stay incredibly aggressive. This uh, could turn into a bit of a classic. Yes. Good pass it, Bednor's the target, and we haven't seen a lot of uh, Smith, have we? Trademark play to position one from uh, the American here. Up early. Looking at position six there, really. And Matic a little bit frustrated with himself. But signed from Kalubu in the start of the 2022 20, season. Had a brilliant Champions League last year. Out of system play, chance it. Namir's uh, a little bit tight to the net. Well, somehow they're still in this uh, hold back, but not anymore. Chittagoy again. He's absolutely killing it out there. Namir decides to pull his hands away, knowing farewell that Zaxa loved to use hands. line isn't it again another incredibly uh, fun youngster to watch in uh, Nagam's year the way that you can turn so much into the angle and sort of set the block up in the defense in there and turn it back to the line was uh, incredibly good it's not the first time that we've seen that little dump off the hands from uh, trying to use that sliver Marek, thorn in the side of uh, Holbank Anchor at the moment. Interesting to know what Kovac thinks. Bank uh, need their leaders to come forward here at the moment. There is one young gentleman who's stepping up uh, and about to serve. He's got a rocket of an arm on him. And it's a good time out to uh, help towards another anchor up point here. Banak back in. Uh, Smart move this, just uh, understanding the situation from uh, Adam Sachena, knowing that uh, he has to bring on a little bit more stability in the, the pass as Kazmarek has dug in the seam. Chance for Namir, can he put the ball away? He struggled, hasn't he, in the last uh, set and a half. Kazmarek hasn't, though, and he just goes to Tall Town off of the block of Matic. The middles are getting the run around now from Holbank Ankara. Ball's just not in the right spot enough here for uh, Namir and Co. Good 
David Scoop. And they're back uh, offensively. They've been it a force in the middles. But the odds are against them here in this set. That's uh, for sure. Just to see how uh, Kolidis Banek uh, just comes in, tries to fill the gap. Remember, he's uh, Libero as well. So smart move just to bring him into uh, the reception in these moments. Give Chittagoy a rest. We know that he's also been a target for the service of uh, Ankara. So keeping him out the pass on the back courts is key. Luf comes back in for Marcin Janusz. Not exactly small at 2 meters 10. A little spell at Verona in uh, 2019-2020, but since then uh, been hit. Well, there is uh, Alexander Slivka. Said he was coming uh, this evening, and uh, Zaxa fans and volleyball fans can't wait to have him back. He's uh, turned into such a big leader for. Uh, Zaxa and Polish side. Taking on that role from uh, Michal Kubiak, but very different, but also uh, very vocal and very strong when it comes uh, to inspiring the players around him. See the likes now of Kurek and Co looking to Stifka for uh, leadership in big times. On the court, so. Uh, Carry on like this, uh, we might be late for the game next week. Pass. And uh, silently, what we're seeing here is Zaxa grow into this game. Bednorsh is finding uh, his pass. Janusz is running this entire game nicely. He knows that Kazbarek is hot, so he's going to keep feeding him through uh, these big moments. Chidaboy is back in, and uh, Banak has done his job. Two will do it for Zaxa. Bednorz uh, internet this time, but Bednorz is also not costing this team anything at the moment. He's scoring, he's passing well. And Kapet uh, has a chance uh, to reinvent this performance. It's something we've seen time after time. But the pass uh, holds firm. No middle, though. Chidagoy has to get creative. Namir, who's been very, very quiet. Volley back on one! And Zaxa! Uh, are feeling themselves. Kazmarek uh, overjoyed. And have a look at this for a little bit of wizardry. 
slapping it straight back with the volley to five. And that might not be uh, his most aggressive kill of the evening, but it could be his smartest. Majewski. Another one into the net, but the service pressure is uh, rocking and rolling. Zaxa have got to feel pretty comfortable out there, but uh, Old Bank has sort of faded away from the first set and a half. Is it Umbar comes in? Through the pipe and Zaxa from one set to zero down, turn it on and go two sets to one up in a crucial, crucial set of this Champions League tie. Bednosh and the pipe has been successful all evening long, but it's a proper team performance at the moment. And it didn't look like that for the first hour or so of this tie. Hauptbank Ankara have gone quiet here and they have it all to do in set four, which is uh, not the feeling we got after the first set. Well, here are the stats and this Saxa pass has uh, increased, well, incredibly since uh, the opener. Hope Bank, interesting enough, uh, passing better with the stats, more races but more errors as well. The blocking has been stronger all night from uh, Zach. So the question mark I have is that Engerpeth has gone quiet, the mayor has gone quiet, and they're not really uh, killing the game in the middle like uh, we saw uh, Okay, join the conversation. What do you think? Fans at home, hashtag CL Volley M. Are we going to a fifth? Or uh, Zaxa, who have been great value for a set and a half, uh, just like Hauptbank Ankara were for the set and a half uh, beforehand. Let's see.
Hendricks Harbour. He's been at Zaxa since uh, 2019 and also an assistant for Poland. But this is uh, a real learning curve for him being the man on the side. And he's doing a great job against someone with a lot more experience than him in uh, Slovak Kovac. Away to Smith. It's actually part of the Dutch side that uh, beat Turkey at the European Golden League in 2012, going back uh, some time ago. Rotations. Uh, so if uh, we didn't know the starting six, and you're good with your numbers, we know the starting six now. Matic, uh, five best blocker awards in uh, Turkey. Another one who's a uh, four-time runner-up in the Turkish League. With, uh, Kalubu and Arkas. Just have to say, uh, 2 11. He's just an absolute machine through there. Yanis is having a little look, trying to sell the fact he's going backwards. Then he goes uh, to Bednorsh. This is going to be uh, an electrifying half an hour or so. Uh, with the chicken wing. That's the sort of play that you just expect that man to make. Just chuck an elbow at it and it'll probably uh, go into the sharp angle. Pass isn't there. Mars under pressure. They haven't quite sorted themselves out here, Holbank Ankara, and they could be in real trouble. Engerpeth does play defense uh, this time. This time coming in straight to the left side. Pancakes. Uh, good. Uh, well, does the face of... Uh, Marcin Janusz look guilty. Looks a little bit guilty to me. Pancake. Uh, oh, it was good, wasn't it? I'm going to throw my opinion out there and say that was uh, good in system, though. Oh, big. And these are the moments... Uh, The tyres will live for. That's slightly out of system ball where the middle's uh, not on anymore and the options of the setter on the opposite side of the net are declining and he can just release to the outside. So when he does double stack, it's hard to get past him. It's certainly harder to get over him. Kazmarek, what you've got to love about the way that he goes about his business is it, not everything is bang, bang. He changes up the speed of his arm off the hands. Blockers take a timing off of what they see, the aggression and the speed, and if you can slow it down, Engerpet's king of it. You're going to catch that blocker on the way down. Chest dig from uh, Soji, but no avail. Again, the uh, Jir is set. Uh, running that reverse pipe, trying to open that play up. And don't be surprised if he gets used on that reverse backcourt attack uh, with the middle on time in front. He'll have a free net, but we haven't seen as much of the pipe uh, this evening from uh, Hot Bank as we have from uh, Zaxa. Okay. Where's Kovac going? He wants to get right in the mix uh, with his team. He was saying beforehand, wasn't he, that uh, he was incredibly uh, happy with where the team are at. Don't know if he'll be uh, incredibly happy if they uh, go down in this set. Two, three up in the block, even. Tyaz is a uh, big, big guy, but it's not him that gets the block. I mean, that's an absolute uh, wall. has just gone as flat as a pancake because uh, we have problem playing. We have all teams Zaxa have coming. just gone astray again.
Engerpest is starting to find uh, some service rhythm, and these are the margins that they're fighting for. Smart play uh, from Bednors to go off the hands, but uh, better serving from Holbank, just working that ball a little bit out of rhythm. The middles can start to release to the outsides, and service game in this sport is uh, complicated and the serve and the block are completely linked together in so many fascinating ways that you're fighting for that ball to be off the net as much as possible and to take options away. Again, Engerpeth there is so relaxed with the shoulders. It's uh, a real special one to hit that ball inside out as uh, we saw from uh, here was another good swing. It's a big angle when facing the line to shake that back. So it's, it's actually uh, working from behind with uh, I think the uh, statisticians. Kovac. He has to uh, look away so the players don't see his uh, disappointed face. Passing issues. There's a net touch. Pass uh, just isn't there again. Dorne overpassing. There's a bit of pressure on that side of the net. Kaziski's uh, almost rocked Engerpet. That's a brilliant pass. Uh, couldn't quite keep his stability, but he kept his arms out of the ball, even when he was feeling a bit rocked himself. And uh, the fact he was so strong with the arms there, wrestled the ball in. Back to the middle, Matic is uh, in this situation offensively tough for, to man mark for Smith. It's not going the mere way. Look at Slivka. If he's not playing, he'll help line judge. Which is uh, he was out there. This time it's out of net or out of system. Sorry, no middle. But having uh, big boys on the outside who can uh, just hammer away always helpful. To you again. Yeah, these miss serves. They're a slight problem at the moment. They can't seem to uh, get a service run. Whole bank, although uh, they're still in front. They have to go for their serves at 2-1 down. They go for their serves anyway. Chittagoy thinks that, uh, before he thought that that ball was in. Let's see how this uh, Bears from now because he is staying on the back court, although he's been substituted off a couple of times uh, for passing duties. He's not targeted, uh, so she is, and Kazmarek just doesn't miss. We're underplaying the role that Janusz is playing here as well because uh, he's very much using good options. He's kept uh, Kazmarek pretty quiet so far, and he's got him a one on one. And when he does go to him, the odds are in his favour that he does score. That's uh, all on the setter. Smith. We haven't seen a, a Smith service run yet, and uh, Engerpeth's passed superbly. Engerpeth jump set again. Jump first pass, Namir! Oh my days, Bednors! Straight in the eyes of Kazmarek with the celebration. What a touch that was, really. Gnarly stuff from Zaxa here. Yanish. Absolutely sublime, but Namir. We haven't really seen Namir for a couple of sets now.
passes off to that once more. Engapet's got to hit his way out of trouble, and he does. No better man in those situations. Oh, just keeps him quick out of the system, as we said uh, before, so he can go after the hands and they can just beat them for speed all day. Yanush is profiting off a good pass from Zaxa, but he's running all of his options at the moment, and it means that from a blocking uh, point of view, it's very difficult for Hulk Bank. It really is. We need to keep the service pressure high, but Zaxa's level uh, incredibly good. Namir now from the left. Can he put the ball away? No, he can't. He's been blocked again. And the mirror's gone a little bit slow with the arm. Three in the block. This is not really what the doctor ordered at the back end uh, of this match for Hulkbank. But they've always got an outlet in the mirror. The outlet isn't quite firing. And Kazmarek is uh, at it again. Hang on. The gloves are off here. I mean, I wouldn't mess with any of them, but I wouldn't mess with uh, Kazmarek. What is going on here? I'd love to see it again. Oh no, the wine and the cheese are out here. Well, we don't want to see this. We need to see this again. Whatever Mark is reacting to, we only have the main shot. Well, Kasparik's being given a red card for interfering, I think, uh, with the referee. And uh, that's his hard work. Uh, well, let's see. He thinks it's in, doesn't he? It's a ripper of a serve. Curious to know if they're going to challenge him. He's got to be careful here because uh, if he goes into the red here, Zaxa won't uh, profit. He's been brilliant so far. He just has to uh, keep his head on here. Livker is uh, concerned, and that's incredibly interesting. Uh, maybe trying to get a message across uh, to his main man. There you go. Look at this from Slivka. We talked about his leadership for this team, and uh, there it is again. He's uh, superb. Not many better leaders in world volleyball at the moment. Right, is the door open? And this is the problem when things uh, get a little bit emotional. Ankara or Holbank will feel that uh, they've just been let back into this game because uh, Kasmarek has just let frustration get the better of him. And this is really problematic now for Zaxa. Two points to the good, 12-10. And the mere well, chicken wing from uh, Soji Water Rip. That is, no, uh, that is not in. That would have been uh, absolutely disgusting from Benton Horse. It would have been so good, but uh, two errors in a row. And have a look, there's now some uh, problems. Adam Savchena, a brilliant uh, statistician and assistant coach, he's uh, now having few more problems uh, on the side to deal with this uh, Kazmarek another error this is wild here three errors in quick succession a red card and uh, it's all starting to untangle here for Zaxa we all know the difference uh, between a 3-1 and a 3-2 victory is huge us and we are 
reacting for it. Stop. Benji, play smart in his bike. Don't spike guys out anymore. We have to be team now. We did a very good job. Come on, boys. Well, interesting to hear uh, there's a few distractions out there. A bit of gamesmanship from... Uh, Hog Bank. It's just been wound up. Good advice though from uh, Sachin. They're just getting too involved emotionally. We don't want to point any fingers uh, on the Hulk Bank side, do we, in those situations? Uh, time out at least uh, stop Engerpeth. Uh. Bednors, having been asked not to make errors, doesn't make an error. It's a good serve in the end. It's an even better swing. That's uh, an incredible level. Service pressure's good. Engerpeth stayed solid into the ground with his platform and then um, turned into a ridiculously sharp angle from uh, Nagamjia. Serve straight down the line. Huge! Well, the crowd have been silenced here. Namir is back in this game. Can Zaxa keep their emotional control? 12-10 uh, up, remember, before that red card from Kazmarek. Chance in transition again. To the outside. He's trying to run the middle, Przyski. Wow! And this game has just turned around once more. Nagamjia is uh, high. And Kazmarek hasn't scored since being red carded. A distraction. This is very dangerous for Zaxa. At 12-10 up, they've just let the opposition back into this uh, home leg. Engerpeth flourishing, getting creative. Kovac knows it. He knows the door is uh, well and truly open. We head towards a fifth set here. And, uh, well, Zaxa only really have themselves to blame. Bednor's now passing off the net. This is a different looking volleyball team. For Zaxa. Pass isn't there, the errors are up, they're getting blocked more. Engerpeth is now alive. Namir is uh, starting to uh, get creative himself. A couple of quick plays in a row. Chittagoy uh, just drifting. And I think uh, Kazmarek being put in the naughty corner for a couple of moments when he calms down. What a turn of events. 12-10 up, 19-13 down. Yannis is off being at his in. Straight down the line. Uh, difficult for the center to uh, have options available there, but second time it's good width on that set. The cover is there, but it's uh, again slightly ropey at the moment uh, for Zaxa. They had all of the momentum. 12 10 up, Kazmarek was absolutely flying. The red card comes in. Completely different game, and now it's falling to pieces. Tyaz, uh, difficult serve uh, to pass this, the sharp one. Some 
sharp angle away from the body as well, so even more difficult. I think uh, this is a chance to uh, rest some of the big players for the next set the boy leaves us. Substitution that stops the run of serves from Tyaz for Zach, so he's been superb Tyaz back there. Back to the middle. Clute did stop this time. And it doesn't matter. What Savchena does here, it really uh, isn't going Zaxa's way. And you can understand why Slivka was around the bench and why he was so angry with that red card. This whole Champions League tie could have turned in that one moment, Namir. He's been so quiet for long periods of time and then he just makes huge plays this is going to the wire great for the neutral but uh, it's not ideal really if you support either of the teams is it? especially if you're a Zaxa fan in that position he thought they were there at the beginning of this set. Good serving. And it's another error. Follow me. Kluf uh, being used a lot off the bench this evening. Kazmarek will surely start the next one. This has been a crazy set because uh, Zaxa. That's just their fourth point in the last uh, 18. Yeah. I think for anyone who watches enough volleyball, that's enough said. Well, an error to finish off a crazy set here in Poland from 12-10 up Zaxa have just surrendered uh, their lead and gone down really without a fight 25-16 is absolutely wild here from 12-10 up Holtbank Ankara winning 15 of 19 points we go to a fifth here. Let's so have a look at the uh, errors. I think that's more than that from Zaxa. What a crazy, crazy set here in the Champions League. Unlike uh, anything I've seen for quite a while. And uh, so I've seen my fair share of uh, these games. Nine attacks to six. Two aces to one. 25-16. A race to 15. And a red card.
Well, join the conversation. Uh, hashtag CL Volley M. We have come to a fifth. And we still have no idea which way this is going to go. Zaxa threw away the fourth set, the sending off to Kazmarek, a big moment in this uh, huge, huge evening of Champions League volleyball. And a man who's uh, been on this journey with Zaxa over the past uh, four seasons. Potentially just put this game in jeopardy here. Mia started to uh, come back to the forefront of the game. The pass of Engapeth is uh, strong at the moment. 25-16 in set four. Set five is uh, 100 meter sprint to 15. Kasmarek has got to get the nod, brought off to uh, calm down. The good news is, is that uh, our back anchor have uh, put the pressure on Zaxa for next week away from home, having won two sets. Smith's going to start serving. He's having a good game. Uh, that man on the outside, Engapeth, and uh, as uh, Black of Gia. Talk about these uh, youngsters, but uh, he's 22 years of age. And a gym. You can see uh, he's had to use both options on the outside this evening. Perrin uh, playing a good part in the early stages, didn't start like Amjir did. And uh, Namir is back on the money maker as it stands. If he comes. Uh, back into this game like we know he can. Zaxa are in trouble. And they're just looking around a little bit. They're not quite as uh, confident at the moment, Zaxa, are they? They've had a difficult season. Pass is too tight. Matic uh, fired up and they know that the early energy will be key here. Say in these moments, if you are uh, going to miss, it's better to miss aggressively. Probably trying to find the right words at the moment, Adam. Uh, so, Chena. <laughs> Running the middle early from Janusz is going to be key. Giving these uh, big middles from Turkey the run around. Tayaz is at 206, Matic 211. Can't get any bigger out there. We've maxed out, surely. High ball, looking for hands is a good option off the high ball when the blockers uh, can get stable on you and press. And this time, uh, Bednors just speeds up the arm to take on the timing of the block and it's a wonderful bit of work. This is going right to the wire, there's no way that Zaxa are going to fold like we saw in the previous set. Surely. Service incoming. Pass off the net this time. And this is where uh, these games will be won and lost. Really smart from Engapeth. Can he do it again? It's incredible from Engapeth. And then he just hangs it out to dry with the celebration. Almost Kobe's in in celebration here as uh, the first one was even better than the second. He was so tight, so he softened up the tip to be able to get another opportunity. And again, just showing that he has this coolness and creativity under pressure that we wish we all had. Engapeth, tip over the top. He's getting tippy with it, Engapeth, and uh, everyone's expecting the bang. And this man always does the unexpected. So much fun to watch. Oh, 
Wow. Namir is back in. Well, to think that they... Uh, He hasn't had a lot of the ball as of late. Kazmarek tips one through Engerpeth. That's a smart move. Sort of gets done by his own creativity there, uh, Engerpeth. You see him here reaching up, expecting the uh, powerful swing, and then the change of speed just catches him out. Smart from Kazmarek. Bednors needs to do something here. Reflection off the net band. Uh, good passing. Shows you brilliant. And that's. Uh, oh, hold on. There's a little bit of afters here again. Who's going after the referee here? Well, well, well. Is it uh, Engerpeth? Oh, well, we can't see what's going on here, but it's all kicking off. I'm seeing. Uh, Exactly what you're seeing at the moment, but it's heated out there. And if this is uh, Hulk Bank getting really involved, I'm unsure whether this is a good idea for them after seeing what's just happened to Zaxa. And if Zaxa are, are paying good attention to this, they'll start to sniff a little bit of a comeback here. Yellow card again, unsure what for. we're going to be able to see this again. And if I'm Zaxa now, I'm uh, starting to grow in my belief that they can get back into this. Bednors. Stepping up but exactly when his club need him to. Big serve! Bednors strikes! Right on cue. Sensing the opportunity given to him. It's all getting a little bit emotional out here. And Holtbank will know that they might have just opened the door for Zaxa. It's another race for Bednors. Slivka loves it. Lagum's here, mouth wide open, arms are swinging. It's a bullet from Bednors. Again, uh, a 
I'm seeing or you're seeing. The mayor may have uh, just gone a little bit OTT. Perrin's uh, come in. Let's see uh, who's on the right side. Perrin's going to be on the right side. It's a good uh, timeout anyway. Ben Norris has certainly uh, done his bit, though, two aces in a row. And that was all it was for, was probably to protect Adam uh, Zier in the pass. Exactly what it was for, actually. Smart move from Kovac. Uh, knows that he could go to Perrin with all that experience. So he puts it on the money. It's a brilliant pass. Okay, Zaks are a back hit. Holds the platform for an eternity to guide that ball in. Locks the arms, relaxing the shoulders, and Brzezinski's back in the game. And I think it's key now to be uh, running the middles to open up the outsides uh, come the end of the game. There is no middle, though. Chance. Big chance. Kazmarek chops the ball and uh, takes Mar out of the setting position. Brzezinski does a good job playing... Uh, at five. And he's been a little bit quiet as uh, have many of the Zaxa players of late, but Chittagoy takes on the mirror, changes up the speed of the attack. And uh, Zaxa are back again. It's a similar looking team that were 12 10. What is happening now? This doesn't look like a wrestling match. Uh, sorry, a volleyball match. It looks like uh, a Royal Rumble. There you go. Wrestling got in there somehow. Have to feel sorry uh, for the referees. It's like herding cats out there at the moment. Again, difficult to, to see why. Right, we need to figure out a few things, why it's all kicking off what the score is here because uh, it could be a side change that we need but we we'll need the graphic to uh, pop up again well 7-7 seven, seven, the score at the moment so uh, the side change is after eight points, so that means that this uh, must have gone whole bank's way. But without a replay, uh, I'm struggling to see exactly what's happening here. This is like a Royal Rumble. Okay, right, we've got some uh, decisions being made. This is a battle. Mar still getting stuck in with a little bit of afters. No talking uh, through the net usually, but uh, plenty going on here. As uh, control seems to be completely lost.
hopefully we can have a challenge of some sort, can't we, in these situations. Unless I've completely missed the boat and it's rotational based. trying to find out what the score is I think and whether we should have changed ends. Tough situation uh, to be in here. Whether the refs have uh, maybe made uh, mistake and we should have changed or is it actually 7-0 uh, or is it 8-6? Well the players are seeing the uh, funny side of it. So there is a change of uh, ends. A bit of pressure here. Uh, fighting for every inch in there. Uh, and it's a chain. Uh, oh, hang on, what's happening here? Oh dear. They want 8 6 here. And it's a whole bank that have got 8 7. And this is wild. Uh, I'm going to need to see all of this back as well as you probably are at home. But somehow, somewhere, we've lost track of the score. And in the humdinger of a five setter. Less than ideal. If Engapet is smiling, okay, 8 6 now, which is probably uh, what I think is right. This is an absolute mystery. Still discussing uh, the score here. This is absolutely uh, intriguing and fascinating stuff, but it has such a big impact in the momentum of the game. Okay, it's now having to uh, warm up once again. Just joining us, there's been an absolute. Uh, I'm trying to find the right word for it here. There's been a mistake somewhere about the score, and the team's changing ends in the fifth set at eight points. Now they're trying to figure out whether it's eight seven or eight six. Uh, 
score here. So I would say that if I was uh, part of the challenge team, I would be uh, working my way back through all of the uh, footage in this set. Following this game a long time, and uh, the referee uh, never offered the stand in a game that I've ever seen. Anyway, it's almost time for the return leg. We should just get it cracking here and now. Tensions are high, clearly. Well, well, well. There's still no uh, conclusion to this. I don't know who's uh, going to uh, leave this situ situation happy. But we need this game uh, to continue because it's been extraordinary. Now everybody getting a little bit involved here. Right. I'm pretty sure the uh, scoreboard in the stadium still says seven all. I think that's a point that's been given. Well, eight six Saxa, and I think that's correct. Or maybe not, if you're playing for uh, Whole Bank Ankara. Wow. Another chapter. It's now time for Namir Abdelaziz uh, to question things. No matter what happens here, somebody's going to be unhappy. They have to get this right. who's serving and maybe trying to figure out uh, if the scores are so complicated they have to make sure that they get the rotations right and everybody's in the right order so I think that could be what uh, Namir is uh, asking how long we've uh, been waiting but sorry to keep you waiting at home and we thank you uh, for staying with us
Well, a moment ago, we thought that this was all solved. And that's certainly not the uh, case. Is it 8-6? Is it 7-7? Seven, seven? Are we in the... Uh, I don't know. In all my years of uh, doing this, I've never seen anything quite like this. Not there yet. There's a lot riding on this game. Uh, that is for certain, but still no solution to the score here. Remember, you can join the conversation. I am uh, intrigued to know what you think about this uh, at home. Who should be leading? to remember back. To my memory, it's 8-6 to Zaxa. I know that doesn't count for much here, but... Uh, Okay. 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 We're ready. Whoever stayed with us, thank you very much. This has uh, been a long time coming. But let's get this show back on the road, ladies and gentlemen. It is 8 6 uh, Saxer and we're ready to rumble. How's this uh, rest gone down? And, uh, well, 8-7. Hopefully 8-7. If everybody uh, agrees on it, Engerpeth uh, makes one count. A little bit of a rest here as uh, there's a change as, uh, as it comes in uh, to serve. Tyaz uh, replaced. got to be going down as one of the longest matches in Champions League history at the moment. So, in system. Well, at least uh, both teams have had a little bit of a chance uh, to get a bit of a breather and set us up for what will be a magical final set here. It's been some game. I know we've just had our big pause and uh, Wow. We've got to say we've, we've had three pretty clean side outs post that break. Not bad at all. 
through position five. Ben North just uh, sits and waits. Big moments, uh, Namir. Out from the mid. He's missed a few of those uh, by a whisker this evening, isn't he? Zacks are a five away for getting over the line here at home. They'll still have a very big job to do if they do win this away next week. Uh, they'll have to match this score. Send it to a golden. Golden set for those who are watching Champions League volleyball for the first time. Off the net. Big opportunity here. It's going to uh, head out to uh, Kazmarek. He looks for hands. He gets hands. That's a huge point in this game. And uh, Kazmarek has certainly been a match winner for them if they do get across the line. Although that red card uh, certainly cost them set four. They're getting back into this. Chittagoy, 12 points this evening. Good substitution. And that comes in for uh, Chittagoy here. In just to stabilise... Uh, the reception, but that toss was just a little bit too far in front of uh, Nagamsia. here. Fuming. Kovac here. Had a good game. Time shaky on the pass, and uh, I think Namir missed his serve. Nagamsia missed uh, his as well. To the middle. Big play. Matic. Again, that comeback has uh, been pretty devastating this evening. Just teeing it up on the approach into five and uh, to one. It's uh, Benoz, Kasmarek. What a swing that is. Well, hang on. The line judge, I think, gave that in. We could have a little bit more after this here because uh, oh, there's a bit of an evil stare. Challenges coming in from uh, for Chena. That's a busy desk this evening. Oh wow, it's close. Uh, a tough one to take because that one uh, for me it looked in and Marek has done that in which case that's an incredible swing to rip that ball back away from the body Sniff the watches on pass is good though for Holbank and uh, Engerpeth will be up for this challenge at the back end of uh, this fifth set. No place he'd rather be right now. Chisels uh, off the block and uh, just lets his uh, opinion be felt. He's just been subbed off. Uh, interesting to know why uh, after the call, but, or after the kill. Bar with a great serve under the pressure. To the outside. Looking for hands. Have they done it again? They have. Zaks are off the hands once more. Tyaz uh, says, yeah, I did touch it. No point in challenging that one. Or is it Namir? Sorry. Looks like a guilty face from Tyaz. Match point for Zaks. Coming in now. <laughs> I mean, the mere face uh, tells you how he feels. Real 
tough night in the office. Uh, has that gone through? It certainly has. Oh, Namiya thinks he hasn't touched it and it's gone through the hands. Well, what do you think at home? Something else uh, to talk about here. This has been a wild, wild game. Never witnessed anything like this since uh, he comes back in to make a block. Just a boy here. It's a big performance from the young man this evening. Yanni is off. Uh, Timeout from Kovac, of course. Uh, just slowing the game down a little bit. Ready, understand to play high ball, okay? And after that, service block, understand, guys. Okay? Don't move the hand, don't try to oh, touch go, the go, ball, go. close the court. I'm a play for point. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We try, let's go. Let's go, go, go. Okay, Kovac is just uh, preparing his team for the run in here. Match point for Zaxa. It's not been easy. Ben Norsha with a good run of serves earlier on in this set, but that seems like a long time ago now. First swing's going to go Zaxa's way. Kazmarek, he's been colossal all evening long. Engerpev off the hands. <laughs> And he's back in for blue. Is there another twist in this tale here in uh, Bowl and Janusz? Real calming influence. The fans uh, have lived every point here with uh, their team as Engerpet serves out and Zaxa have done it in five. It sets up a mouth-watering tie next a week. In the reverse tie of this playoff to see who will go through to uh, play Lube in the quarters. A good step in the right direction for Adam Sochena and this Saxa side. Yes, it's not a 3-0 or a 3-1, but they'll take the 3-2 after a red card. Kasmarek in set four made the wheels uh, come off for a short period of time. This tie is well and truly alive. And you can see the disappointment on the faces of uh, Holtback Ankara, who knew they were right in the mix-up until the very end. They were brilliant out of the starting blocks this evening. But it all subsided at the back end of set two and set three. They got it back in set four. As uh, the MVP, uh, Lucas Kazmarek. Uh, Well, uh, fortunately, didn't have a Polish uh, translator, but MVP is uh, Kazmarek. And, uh... <laughs> Although he got that red card, he was uh, superb. Ben Norge, key run of uh, serves at the very end. Old Bank uh, up and down throughout, but they might just uh, be delighted with the 3-2 next week, it might be enough, it might be the difference. We won't know until uh, after the second leg. There's a confirmation of the score. And it's been a turbulent ride here in uh, Poland this evening, but uh, there are the stats. More errors from uh, Old Bank, but uh, the reception was better. The service pressure from uh, the reigning Champions League winners, uh, stronger eight aces. Uh, more than more blocks uh, from the Mir and the Cove on the whole bank anchor side of the net. It's uh, absolutely crazy scenes. Uh,
that red card the Kazmarek can set for. Almost sent that in the wrong direction for Zaxa, but they got a little bit uh, emotional themselves, Holt Bank at times, and that fed in uh, to their demise as well in the fifth. But this tie is going to be absolutely fascinating till the very end. And you don't want to be anywhere else uh, watching your volleyball because this competition just keeps delivering the drama. Zaxa have the edge. I think it was one of the most emotional matches in your career. It was emotional roller coaster. Can you just comment it? Because I don't know what to ask you. I don't really have so many words because I'm still in shock after this like great match. I'm still at the beginning of my career, so I gain experience every single game that I play, and I'm uh, I'm happy that we we managed to win this game. And this situation from the fifth set, did you know what what just happened? Uh, no, I knew, <laughs> I knew in a way that uh, we made the last point and uh, it should have been 8-6. But then uh, I just got confused and I let, let the refs do, do their thing and it was good at the end. And what about the situation? Do you think that now your team is the strongest, we can say, in this, uh, in this competition after this situation that you, you could do it? We still have to keep our head down and concentrate on to the next game because it's a two-game series. So uh, we have to really concentrate for the next game. And if we manage to win that game, then we will think on to the next round and so on. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Impressive. It was emotional out there this evening. It's going to be a great tie uh, next week to see who goes through to play uh, Lube. But the fans of Saxa can celebrate uh, getting over the line. It wasn't very pretty in set four, but uh, two, three and five pretty impressive looking for the four peat this year Zaxa and that without Slivka they certainly put in a performance in the end to grind out the result here against Holtbank who uh, well made the final four last year one of the big four have to leave in the playoffs uh, in the 2024 Champions League and we're going to find out next week who it is Well, brilliant evening comes to an end. We'll see you next time.